What's up guys, mainly hockey cards here, and in the last video I went over seven forwards that have surprised everyone this season. Today I am going over seven defensemen that have done the same. Starting things off, Tony D'Angelo has been one of the most hated players in hockey for the better part of his career. His off-ice antics and undisciplined actions saw him sit out practically the entirety of the 2020-21 season, and on a one-year make-it-or-break-it $1 million contract in Carolina, he has 19 points in 20 games and shows no signs of slowing down. His defense isn't the best, but in a hobby that loves offense, his young guns have grown 200% in value in the past three months, and it could go much further. Next, Aaron Ekblad has shaped into a great offensive threat this season. We've seen shades of his offensive potential over the years since he went first overall in 2014, but hasn't materialized too much until now. He's got 17 points in 21 games, and those numbers are on pace to shatter all previous personal bests. He's only 25 years old, and his cards are starting to slowly take off. While his Young Guns rookie hasn't increased dramatically, it has seen steady growth, and I think that much like Victor Hedman, the one thing going against him is the market he plays in. But I do think Ekblad is a great buy even now. Moritz Seider has been electric since his NHL debut, putting up 14 points in 22 games as just a 20-year-old for a Detroit Red Wings team that desperately needed him to look like a franchise defenseman. Unfortunately, much like Lucas Raymond, there aren't many cards of his out there. He does have a Game Day at Moments card, and the base version is going for $35 and up, so it's quite hard to say where his young guns will realistically price out at. Bowen Byram is another 20-year-old with serious potential and had 8 points in 11 games before his injury. It's not surprising to see him producing, it's just surprising to see him producing at that rate already. His young guns, as one would expect, have increased in value considerably and then took a small dip when he was out with said injury. I expect this card to keep going up as he continues to be on a stacked avalanche squad where he'll run the blue line with Makar for the foreseeable future. Oliver Shillington has been a project for the Flames for the past six years. Before being a second-round pick of the team all the way back in 2015, Shillington was Central Scouting's top-rated European skater, but then fell throughout his draft year. It looks like the patience is paying off, as Shillington has put up 12 points in 20 games this season, despite playing less than 18 minutes per game. His cards have shot up substantially, especially his future watch autographs going from about a $5 to $10 card to rising to $30 to $40 in just the last month. Another Oliver, Oliver Ekman-Larsen, has been a complete bust so far for the Vancouver Canucks. Just 4 points in 22 games, and even with 12% of his salary retained by the Coyotes, $7.3 million just keeps looking worse. Amazingly, his cards haven't really decreased in value too much, and his young guns still look pretty stable at $20 to $25. I'd characterize this as just a really slow start, nothing to worry about just yet. Lastly, Cam Fowler is just about 30 years old, and given his track record in the past, you wouldn't expect a year like this. He's on pace for a career year with 13 points in 22 games, and like Ryan Getzlaff, seems to be revitalized by the youth movement around him. At the end of the day, his cards have taken a small uptick in value, and while that's nice if you can capitalize on his year, I just think it's a nice little surprise, especially if you made the weird move to draft him in fantasy hockey. As always, let me know in the comment section below who you feel are some defensive surprises this season. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always change your mind later. Thanks, everyone.